Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs. I'm Nathan Gobes. I'm filling in for Jeffrey Davis today while he's away. I want to first thank MTP Software for building us this great studio. Without them, we, we couldn't be doing this. Our next guest is Charlotte Bradrick, owner and founder of Eventive. Welcome, Charlotte. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so thank us. start by telling us about Eventive, and uh, we'll get into a little bit of your background. And Absolutely. So Eventive is an experiential marketing agency. So um, we do a lot of event planning and a lot of event design and styling. We also do um, event consultation. So it's all about creating experiences for people. Um, Okay. A lot of our clients like to use those to market their businesses. So, um, okay. what, what do you mean by that when you say experiences for clients? Sure. So, um, a lot of people obviously market their businesses in the way of websites, SEO, Facebook, social, you know, mm -hmm. the standard marketing practices, which are awesome and I would highly recommend them. Um, but there's another way of doing that, and that's through experiences. So allowing their customers to experience their product or their service, um, which typically, not always, um, is done through events. So okay, do you um, want to give us an example? Sure, um, a grand opening is a, okay. is a yeah, really yeah. Um, common event that I help. Um, my clients with so having a grand opening allows um, businesses to bring in their um, team their target audience their prospective clients the local community um, the chamber um, to see their office see their business see their teams like witness their services or their product one-on-one -on -one and really create a great um, relationship in the local community so um, grand openings just tend to be something that I help a lot with so okay and what what other types of events uh, do you usually run um, I work with a lot of restaurants and coming up with concepts um, just fun events mm -hmm. so I worked with a group called mass foodies um, a couple of years ago we did a Willy Wonka themed dinner at oh, Sweet in Worcester so it was a okay themed um event i helped with some of the design and the concept and um sweet came up with a great menu so just coming up with fun events for the community to enjoy uh bringing in new people and just you know it also helps with the pr side of it too so getting um, businesses in the newspaper and mm -hmm. online um that exposure um can really be boosted through some fun events that you might not see every yeah. day. Do you only work with um, companies uh, that are trying to attract uh, customers to their business? Or let's say uh, a company wanted to run a, a fun event, but maybe they're an accounting firm oh or goodness, a tech absolutely. firm or something. Yep. So um, I do a lot of internal events. So mm -hmm. holiday parties mm -hmm. um, is a big one. Um, definitely. Yeah, we do internal events too. So anything... Um, anytime a business needs help with, um, planning an event, we mm -hmm. also do social events. I wouldn't say it's, um, our number one thing that we do. Um, we definitely tend to work with businesses more often than mm -hmm. not, but, um, we do birthday parties mm -hmm. and things like that too. Yeah. What would you say uh, if you had, you know, a few things that make a good event versus a bad event, especially when it's for like, you know, a company's holiday party or something like that? I know you're talking about the experience. You sure. want to talk about that? Um, I think having, um, well, to be honest, <laughs> I think that having a planner on board definitely helps just to keep things organized. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people don't realize you have to c confirm leading right up to the event, make sure all your vendors are there on time, they have the right directions. Yeah, it can be a lot of work. Yeah, if your band doesn't show up because they got lost, um, mm -hmm. that's that's not that's not great. Um, I also work, or I have somebody that works at the event, so it does day of coordination that can help with anything that might go wrong um, for a lot of businesses, whether it's internal or not. Um, they want to be able to enjoy the party. They yeah. don't want to host it and run around doing things and planning at the event. They want to relax and enjoy it regardless of who the target audience is. So um, having a planner there to help do that on the day really helps them to enjoy it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, and you said you also help with them with marketing and PR of the events. Do you want to talk a little bit about um, how you do that? Yeah, so I do more on the side the way of consultation mm -hmm. as far as marketing the events i can come up with great ways 
to market their events, but typically I'll outsource that to a marketing um, and PR firm. Um, I used to actually do that. I used Mm -hmm. to do all the marketing and PR, um, but now I focus just on the planning. So um, I'll typically outsource that. Um, I do know how to do it, so Mm -hmm. I can come up with ways and share that with them, more of a consultation Hmm. more than anything. But Do you have any uh, team with you or is it just you yourself? Um, Right now, I'm the only Mm -hmm. full-time employee. I do have a few people um, that work um, on a contractual basis with me, which helps. Um, And do you have an area that you focus in? Um, I think you out of Worcester or am I incorrect there? Yep. So we're out of Auburn, but um, right right on the border of Worcester. (laughs) Uh, a lot of our clients tend to be in the Massachusetts area. Doesn't mean we we won't go beyond that. It mm-hmm. just happens to be um, a lot in the Massachusetts, um, Worcester, Boston mm-hmm. area as of right now. Okay, great. Let's yeah. get a little bit into your background, sure. uh, as uh, Jeffrey would like to say, the Wayback Machine. <laughs> <laughs> so, what uh, what brought you here and uh, to starting Eventive? Absolutely. Um, my background is in marketing. Mm -hmm. I um, went to school, originally I wanted to be a journalist, so I studied communications. um, And I got my first job in Worcester at a marketing marketing agency um, where we did do a lot of PR. Mm -hmm. And um, I was brainstorming with a client one day and I kind of said, he, he had mentioned he wanted to get into the newspaper. And I said, well, you, you know, we can't just write a press release and get you in the newspaper. Yeah. Just, just because <laughs> you exist, you need to do something, whether that's contributing to something, you know, volunteering, whatever. And I said, a great way to do that would be through an event because mm-hmm. there's so many benefits. You know, you, the exposure, the PR, um, the community relationship, there's so many benefits. And, um, and he had said, that sounds awesome. Let's do it. I want an event. Like, let's do a cool event. Come mm-hmm. up with some ideas. I'd love to do that. And I, I kind of had to say to him, well, that's not really what we do (laughs) you know Mm -hmm. um that's not one of the services we currently offer and um i started researching it and realized there wasn't a lot of companies in worcester county um that i could see that did that so i started my business um and that was at the time what i focused on marketing businesses through events um i still do that i've just kind of expanded my services to do more at this point but um, I was just trying to fill a void that I found in the market. So, uh, and how has the transition from working within the, the PR agency to running your own company, how has that been? Any uh, trials, tribulations, or yeah, maybe definitely. lessons learned along the way? Yeah, I'm sure any entrepreneur <laughs> can share. It's not um, the easiest thing to do. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, for, for one, what people will notice is you go from a steady you know, schedule, maybe it's nine to five, you have a paycheck that you know what that's going to look like every week or month or whatever, um, to the unknown, you know, mm-hmm. you don't know who your next client is going to be, you, your schedule is all over the place. Um, ironically, I did it for the freedom. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think my, my uh, freedom has gone out the window. <laughs> I work more than I've ever worked before. But it's definitely really fulfilling when Mm -hmm. you work for yourself and you can see what you can accomplish on your own. So I, I love it. I don't regret it for a second. Um, but there's definitely been bumps along the road. Um, Mm -hmm. when you overcome them, it's awesome. You know, you're really proud of yourself, but it's certainly not easy to start your own business. Um, it's a lot of work, (laughs) Um, um, but it's great. I love it. Yeah. Well, I think uh, definitely what what you do uh, fits an important niche. Um, We were chatting before, you know, that a lot of other event planners, they're mostly they're wedding planners Mm -hmm. and then maybe they do other stuff, too. Whereas you said that's not what you do. No. Corporate events is your main focus, right? Correct. Yeah. There's a lot of um, wonderful wedding planners. Um, When I get a wedding in, happy to (laughs) recommend some great planners in the area. Um, But that's not my niche that's yeah. not my specialty so yeah and i think it is good that it's that you've that you've separated it mm-hmm. I, i'm sure a wedding has has far you know there's a lot of things that you need for a wedding that you don't need for a corporate yeah, it's event and vice versa completely different ball game yeah. <laughs> absolutely and yeah. you're dealing with two very different um people you know uh, bride and groom or bride, yeah. you know a couple versus 
a CEO of yeah. a business um, with totally different goals in mind. So yeah. makes sense. Yeah, and um, and I'm sure many people can agree. Uh, an an enjoyable event for when we're talking about corporate events is uh, can be miles above you know a, a lame event where everybody goes and they groan their way through it, and mm -hmm. then you know they they don't want to come to the next holiday party because the last one was weak. Yeah, but you bringing know, in new insight, just yeah. you know, some new fresh ideas um, can really yeah. Make Great. it exciting. Well, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, Charlotte, through for Eventive to uh, talk to you about all this, how could they do so? Uh, they can reach me on my website, which is www.eventive, e v e n t i v e m a, dot com, um, or they can email me at charlotte at eventivema dot com. Great. I want to thank you for coming on the show thank today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I want great. to remind everyone, this has been Charlotte Bradrick, owner and founder of Eventive. If you want a uh, great experience at your next event, uh, give her a call or uh, send her an email. Perfect. Thank you. This has been Radio Entrepreneurs. We'll be back after these messages.